The ninth race field, lined up, set to go. They're off. Speed from the outside by long shot Gigi's Bugsy. Gallo Blue Chip on the outside with Brickyard. Michael Scott gets away fourth around the turn, moving towards the back stretch and off stride there when Weekend Act. Weekend Act make a brief back. Is now back pacing as they head into the back stretch. Gigi's Bugsy now confronted by Gallo Blue Chip and Gallo Blue Chip quickly to take over from Gigi's Bugsy. It's two lengths back to Brickyard third, followed by Michael Scott, who's five lengths for the lead. It's a three-length separation to split in two. And then it's Carrot Patch, and settling down at the back is Weekend Act. The opening quarter is 28-1. and one. They're on the far turn the first time, and it's Gallo Blue Chip in control here by a length and a half on Gigi's Bugsy. Brickyard is third. They're at the top of the stretch the first time. And Gallo Blue Chip leads it by a tight length, tracked by Gigi's Bugsy off stride when Michael Scott, Michael Scott made a break as they make the way to the half mile pole. And fourth is split in two, and then it's Carrot Patch and Weekend Act. The half mile was 58 and one. At quarter and 30 seconds flat, they move to the clubhouse turn. And at one to nine, it's Gallo Blue Chip strutting his stuff and takes the field into the back stretch. So they get by a length. Gigi's Bugsy in close pursuit second. And then it's Brickyard third. To the outside, split in two. Moves up five lengths from the lead, followed by Carrot Patch and Weekend Act. They get to the three-quarter pole, and Gallo Blue Chip, the one they'll have to catch, leading it by a length over Gigi's Bugsy. Three quarters and one, 27 and one. They're on the final turn, and Gallo Blue Chip, leading it by a length and a half. Gigi's Bugsy trying to cut into the gap. It's six lengths back. Brickyard offering no response. Then from between horses, split in two. They're on their way home, and the top two are pulling away here. It's Gallo Blue Chip by a length and a half. Gigi's Bugsy giving his best, but Gallo Blue Chip is much too tough tonight. Gallo Blue Chip in front. Gigi's Bugsy clearly second best, and Carrot Patch third, 154 and four. The richest harness horse in North America for owner Mark, uh, excuse me, owner Martin Sharp of Lawrence, New York, our pre race guest trainer Mark Ford. And cast driven tonight by Teddy Wing, uh, one to nine. Uh, well, announced to the three favorites, though it is the uh, timid uh, third choice at 20 in Gigi's Bugsy, who chases home the winner 19 to one. Carrot Patch rounds it out. And quite formful final division of the New Rochelle, no place, no show wagering here. And the Yellow Blue Chip, as advertised, uh, finishes it off in our uh, final Star Stakes event of the evening. Late closures, by the way, here Monday for the Trotters. But Blue Chip, winning the third division of the New Rochelle Pace with three-year-old Colts and Geldings, owned by Martin Scharf of Lawrence, New York, trained by Mark Ford. The winning driver is Ted Wing, making the presentation in the winner's circle. Mr. Richard Hallaby, Director of Public Affairs of Yonkers. Gallo Blue Chip winning his ninth victory of the season in 15 starts. Zach returns $5 even.